Live from the dive, the hip to your hop with the grooves you can use, the flim to your flams, flailing with triplets of terror, rudiments for the studiments, master of the monkeys, the incredible incomprehensible twosome with the funk in the trunk, Jared and Dave, and their astounding roller coaster of rhythms, sideshow of showing, the hour of power. Welcome to Free Drum Lessons Live. Thank <laughs> you. 
So what are we doing today? Okay, for those of you here, this is Sean Lang. Sean? Hey. Shake my hand. Thanks for coming out, bud. Yeah, shake my hand too. Hey. No, no, no. Good to see you. Good to <laughs> oh, girl, I just, threw up, I just threw up in my mouth. Okay. Uh, Sean is coming out because a lot of you guys were asking for blast beats, heavy metal, double bass stuff, mm -hmm. everything that you were really good at. And I know, <laughs> exactly. And he's also, I mean, he's also good at other things. He can just jam out and groove out with uh, some funk stuff too, so. I can do that. Yeah, dude, great to have you here. Yeah. So those were two songs. The first song was called This Ghost of Ours. This Ghost of Ours, yep. Second song was called As the Dead Leave the Dead. Lead. Lead the Dead. Lead. Lead. He spells it wrong. I He's, didn't do this. What's your band, band name? First Rain. First, first Rain. rain. First rain. MySpace.com slash First Rain. Throw that sucker on screen. R-E-I-G-N. Yeah, R A I N. Not like rain. Yeah. No. Don't laugh. <laughs> well, it's just funny because you want to prove to everyone that you can spell. You're, you're Dude, <laughs> I'm all tangled up here. <laughs> this is not a good day for me, guys. This is not a good day. <laughs> um, okay, and their their uh, their music is also available on iTunes. Okay, so if you go to iTunes, just type yes. in First Rain. First, not like the number, the one with S T. Oh like yeah. First F I R S T. Yeah, get mad at me for spelling <laughs> then, rain. Then R E. I-G-N. Cool. Type in that, and it's like, I think you can get both albums for under 10 bucks, hey? 
What's that? You can get both albums for under ten. You can, yeah. yeah. It's on so iTunes too. So. Smoking deal. Yeah. So you guys definitely check that out. I mean, su mm -hmm. support him. I mean, if you love his drumming, it's it's uh, even better on the album, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Sean. So maybe just tell us a little about yourself, man. How long have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing since I was uh, ten years old. So <laughs> I'm 23 now. So 13 mm -hmm. years. Uh, I took lessons for a couple years at the beginning, but mm -hmm. just kind of hopped around from teacher to teacher. Yeah. Um, I'm still not too sure which camera to look at, so I'm just kind of like looking at my drum. Right there. Awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've been teaching myself ever since and teaching other people as well. So. Yeah. And so you have, you have uh, private lessons? Every I, do, I do private lessons, yeah, at my house. At your house? At nice. my house. Cool. Cool. And so your, your, like your musical inspirations, like what do you listen a lot to? Um... I grew up listening to rock, and then I got into a metal band, and so that mm -hmm. took over my life for about six years, but now I'm yeah. kind of branching out into other stuff again. Um, the one guy who made me want to actually make a go of it and, mm -hmm. and practice a lot and uh, whatever is Virgil De Natty. Mm -hmm. I read this. Mm, yes. uh, I read this. He, he had a, a cover story in Modern Drummer, and the interviewer said that he met Virgil at uh, this hotel. Mm -hmm. I read that too. And uh, there was the, the like he'd been practicing so much that there was condensation all over the windows. Yeah. And at this time he was practicing, I think, ten hours a day every day. Mm -hmm. And I read that and I was like, okay, well I complain about practicing for half an hour, and this guy does it out of choice for ten hours, so I can probably put in a little bit more time. Yeah. <laughs> and exactly. ever since then, it's just been, yeah. Cool. I read that same article. The, the interviewer said he came in and he was Virgil was just sweating and just going nuts. Yeah. The, like a bass drum practice pad because he was in a hotel or something. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, so bands, what bands, uh, like for people that like metal, what bands do you, are you listening to in that genre? Um, one that I've always loved and will continue to love is Opeth because they kind of cover the, the whole spectrum of the melodic, mm -hmm. the heavy, the groovy, the just straight ahead, fast stuff. They kind of, if you like anything of metal, they're gonna, their chances are they're going to do at least one thing that you like yeah. consistently because mm -hmm. yeah. they do a little bit of everything. So Opeth is is one of them. Um, I don't really listen to them so much so much anymore. But uh, Dream Theater really got me into into all the metal fills and metal drumming and watching Mike Portnoy. But the yeah. singer started annoying me, so I don't listen to them very much anymore. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you gotta be careful. Man. The singer started annoying you. There's some hardcore Dream Theater yeah, fans you, out there. You say that on YouTube, and you'll just get blitzed. <laughs> Look at you. Your cable's still all screwed up. Dude, I just, I don't know what's going on like, here. Seriously. <laughs> Uh, whatever. Um, okay, and also today we're doing the drawing. Basically, uh, a couple weeks ago, in our punk drumming lesson, keep going. I'm just working my cable. In our punk drumming lesson, we had. A, I said, for those of you on YouTube, if you post a comment, what you love most about drumming, we're gonna do a drawing, and one of you is gonna win uh, Mike Metallica's drumming system. Mm -hmm. Basically, the the video, the comments just went nuts. We had like, I think almost 600 comments. So what we've done today is, we've sacrificed the bottom head of this Casey snare drum here. And uh, I've got my receptionist to cut up all these pieces of what you guys love most about drumming. We printed off the comment section on YouTube. So uh, let me just read. This is the drumming here. system here. This is what they're going to be winning. Yeah. So like I'll read. This isn't the, this isn't the one. Just so you know, I'm going to get Sean to draw. But this is maybe you would have won if I didn't want to do and oh, read that's something. A, that's pretty brutal, man. <laughs> that's pretty brutal. The, the guys. This guy, Sherb993, loves the feeling he gets when he gets to the point where you can feel smooth. Nothing has ever felt better so far. <laughs> 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 you just, you're not going to put it back in? No, I'm not going to uh, put it back in. Uh, you would have won. The thing, this is w y oh, y Rockets. You're going to read a book there? A book, yes. It's a little tiny it's piece It's like six The six thing font. I love most about drumming is playing improv with my band and hearing what they come up with to my beat. When my bassist enjoys playing to what I'm playing, I know it's sounding awesome, and I love it. It when the whole neighborhood are standing on their front porch, head banging to my drums. Nice. See, I don't get that. My neighbors hated my drumming. Yeah. Maybe because it was uh, garbage, or maybe because it was loud. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Sean, you're gonna have to select <sighs> one, and then you gotta read it. Okay. okay. And this is gonna be f the actual winner, right? No, those other two. The actual and other two, yeah. You guys lost. Yeah. <laughs> I was choosing. <laughs> okay. Just one. Okay. Just one. Yeah. Okay, let me focus because this is <laughs> tiny. Uh, this is Minoru72991. Uh, this video, is this the right thing? This video was freaking beast. I've heard some of these beats before and the fills were incredible. The thing I love 
most about drumming is that I can be free. I'm not limited to doing anything. Everything in the world doesn't matter when I'm drumming. Nice. Nice. Good answer. That is a that's a good one. Good answer. Yeah, that's actually a good one. Okay, yeah. dude. If you're watching, you can uh, get a hold of me. If not, I'm going to email you. Or Dave's going to email you. Here. I'm going to email you. Don't is, eat it. Is his email address on here? <laughs> is his email address even on here? No, but you can go find him on YouTube and you can send him a message. Hmm, okay. Well, that's what I'll do. That's the only way you really know it's him. He's probably like a hundred of the commenters with a bunch of different accounts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's the drumming system. For those of you who don't know, um, you can get it at drumming system.com or the drummer store. It's a good one. Cool. Okay, so basically today, you're going to be doing a solo later. You're going to be doing some more play along. Is that yep. right? Yep. And uh, you're also going to be showing some heavy metal beats and fills, taking some, and then taking some questions. Like, I know a lot of people are going to have questions like, what type of pedals do you use? What type of. Uh, Settings you're using your pedals, how did you develop the speed, and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So we should save some time for that too. Yep. So maybe right now, we could just like burn through the metal fills. And for those of you who don't have the sheet music, you can go ahead and get it in the freedrumlessons.com drum forums. Okay. Uh, you go in the general drumming section, and it's right there in a in a thread titled heavy metal and blast beats. Mm -hmm. Go there and download it if you want it. Otherwise, we're also going to put it on screen. I'm gonna see if I can get these earphones on at the same time because yeah. it's it's nice it's to hear the drums. Yeah. So uh, you guys just you know. Talk. Yeah. No, no. It's that's nice. <laughs> just dead air is nice, Sean. <laughs> 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 Dave, how was your week? It was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing, what did you do? Nothing see. special. You had a big gig with your band, huh? Yeah. We also started filming a music video too. You played for the Paralympics. We did. Yeah. yeah that's good enough. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So we're doing metal fills first? Yes, metal fills. So just go and say number, talk to, you can uh, talk to that camera over there and then just say number one and go for it, man. Alrighty. So um, uh, we're going to start with the most basic metal fill of all. It's basically just 16th notes around the toms. Snare, high tom, mid tom, low tom. Um, but to make it feel more intense, we're also going to uh, use the kick on the quarter notes just to kind of... Anyway, you'll, you'll see what, what, what I mean. So basically, this is the first metal fill, and I'll, I'll add it into a beat afterwards so you can see. Uh. So uh, you generally won't hear it at that speed because it sounds kind of boring and, yeah. you know, well, unless you really like it at that speed, then, then, yeah. then who am I to say you're wrong? But yeah. uh, uh, normally you hear it, Somewhere more more around this speed, which is probably like I'd say between 180 and, and 200, so BPM. So, <laughs> so uh, just like that, hey Sean. Just like that. <laughs> just like that. You order my five point system. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll throw it into a beat. Let's do like a basic rock beat for now, and then I'll I'll throw it in. Kay. So. So again, really simple. Um, now I'll play it a little bit faster, and I'll play uh, uh, more of a, an up, upbeat kind of. A, it's called a skank beat, actually. And uh, so here we go. So that's fill number one. Cool. Relatively simple. Uh, next fill, um, super, super common in metal because you get more for less. You split up between, uh, you, you split singles between the hands and the feet. And uh, so your hands never really get tired, your feet never really get tired. Um, so it's basically uh, just like this, really slowly. Super easy um, at slow speeds, which means that if you practice it at slow speeds, faster and faster and faster, um, it's really easy to uh, get up to a nice metal speed. So I'll play it a little bit faster now, and then I'll throw it into a beat. And a little oh, bit faster. I want to add one thing. You yep. are, I don't know if you said it, but because I, I was fixing Dave's wire again, but you are doing the feet. Uh, two pedals, right? Yeah, Double yeah. pedal. You Sing can do it on one too, right? You can do it on one, yeah. Yeah. 
but just for the heck of it, because it's metal, and all metal guys do it on two feet, so we'll do it with two feet. Because they're cheaters. The cheaters, no, yeah. Just <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't kill me, please. <laughs> okay. Um, so he's, he's, uh, he's a little bit faster. So uh, we'll throw it into a, a skank beat again. And uh, once you fix the mic there. So that's number two. Right. Um, number three is a, a variation of, uh, of number two. Uh, basically, uh, you're going to do four single strokes um, with, with the hands, and then two with the feet. Left, right, left with the feet. And uh, I'll, I'll show it to you. Here we go. That's written with uh, on the high tom, starting on the high tom. So we'll do it on the high tom. Okay. <laughs> uh, this fill is uh, able to be applied on any drum, so you can either do it, you know, with uh, with floor tom, snare drum, wherever you want to do it. Even cymbals, throwing cymbals into the mix usually sounds kind of cool. Uh, it offsets the sound a little bit. If you if you split up the single strokes, it actually makes it sound really uh, really kind of chaotic and it's kind of fun. So I'll um, I'll play it a little bit faster and then I'll show you how if you split up the single strokes, you can actually make some pretty cool uh, some pretty cool fills. So cool. here it is a little bit faster. Whoops! Hi Tom. <laughs> So now if we split it up, say we want to go with uh, mid-tom, snare, snare, high-tom, and then the two kicks. And we'll do that twice, so like this. We'll uh, add that into a beat again. Um, just a straight rock beat. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here we go. And then with some fast double kick, just because. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds so good. So good when it's played fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the next, uh, the next two fills here are, are not really stock metal fills, but uh, metal drummers get in the habit of just trying to play you know, single strokes as fast as they can or, or splitting it up like I just showed you for the last uh, two fills. And it, uh, it's, it's good to kind of try different things, not just do the same thing over and over again. So these are a couple ideas on how to make your uh, metal fills a little bit more dynamic. So this one is, is still, still uh, splitting it up between your hands and your feet, but uh, it's got a little bit of a different feel to it. Um, let's see, how do I have it written here? OK, so uh, it's going to start with, uh, with your right hand on the snare, and then kick, 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 and then your right hand again. And again, this is, this is possible to do on, uh, on a single kick as well as a double kick. And then uh, next, we're going to go to uh, left hand on the tom. Two kicks. And uh, left hand again. So, so far, we have this. Okay. Now we're going to repeat the motion again, or repeat the sticking, with the right and the kick on the mid tom, and then left and the kick on the floor tom. So you kind of get this weird. Uh, offset sort of sort of feel. It sounds kind of like this.
So uh, we're going to do a little bit faster now. A little bit faster again. Actually, I'm going to move it to this floor, Tom, because it's easier. Mm -hmm. So. So it's just a, uh, yeah, it's a, a different idea rather than always going kind of one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Kind of just gives you a different feel to play with. Um, you can also split it up between different sound sources, cymbals, drums. Um, here's something that I've come up with. It's actually kind of a beat. Um, let me show you. It's, again, it's exactly the same as what's written down on the page. Just I'm hitting different sound sources rather than, than, than the drums that we have there. So it's kind of like this. Screwed that one up. So just to give you different ideas to play with, um, the last one I have written down here, uh, this is bringing rudiments into play. And a lot of metal drumming doesn't involve any rudiment except for the single stroke roll. <laughs> oh, flams, right? Here uh, and there. Uh, maybe. <laughs> if a drummer's having an off day. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so this one involves a six stroke roll. And six stroke roll is basically right, left, left, right, right, left. And uh, so the way this fill is going to sound is we're going to start with the kick and the crash on the first right, left, left on the <coughs> snare, um, right, right on, we'll say the high tom. I think we have the high tom written down here. And then one more left, and then two kicks, and then uh, you're basically ready to start again. Now this one, it's a lot easier to do it with two with a, a double pedal because you end up doing a, a group of three with the feet and it's just a little bit harder than, than a double. So mm -hmm. uh, here it is really slow. Again, but faster. Uh, so now I'm going to throw that in with a skank beat. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, so let's go. Cool, great. So yeah, Good there are stuff, five man. fills. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> So for those of you who are just getting here, the sheet music is available for download in the freedrumlessons.com drum forums. Go in the general drumming section, and it's titled Heavy Metal and Blast Beats stuff. So Sean just finished teaching five uh, metal fills. And now, I know a lot of guys are going to be asking you, like, they, they hear you play it slow, which is great, but how did you actually develop it and get it to that speed? Well, everything, everything that you play fast, you have to play slow first, Yeah. Mm -hmm. really, really slow, mm -hmm. with a metronome. Yeah. On time. Uh, that's usually the worst part of practicing is the first couple of years, just going really, really slow. Developing your, your proper, proper technique. Um, if you want to go faster, um, less movement conserves energy. So if you can use your wrists and better your fingers, you're going to be able to fly around the kit if you, if you practice that way. Yeah. With the hands, with, with feet, um, if you want to execute really, really fast double bass runs and, mm -hmm. and, and licks and stuff, again, it's... it's um, the le less movement is better, basically. Mm -hmm. So if you're a guy who plays like yeah. this right now, um, chances are you're going to have to change your technique if you want to play a little bit faster. Otherwise, you're going to give yourself a hernia or something like that. <laughs> you know? yeah. um, and so it, it, it just works out to yeah, optimizing your movement. That's why I have everything in this kit so close together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just because I have to get around. I have to, I have to do maybe regular drum traps, but twice the speed sometimes, and, yeah. and if the drum is not right there, I'm probably going to miss it. Yeah. Or I'm going to uh, damage the nice lacquer finish on my drum by, you know. So, oh. so over the years, I've just pushed everything closer, and uh, yeah, just 
if, if I can't do something properly fast, I just have to slow it down and have to keep going slow until mm -hmm. I'm comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Until I, I can confidently say, hey, look what I can do in front of people, you know? Yeah. So. Cool. Okay, so for those of you out there wondering how he got so fast, that's it. Right? That's it. Time. No secret <laughs> techniques, yeah. no secret tricks. It's, it's time. Yeah. A lot of time, time and practice. practice and hard yeah. work. Yeah. Exactly. Um, okay, we also wanted to talk a little about uh, bass drum triggers. Now, I know today you have some triggers hooked up on your bass drum. We have triggers hooked up, yeah. Um, there are a lot of misconceptions about triggers, mm -hmm. especially on YouTube. You'll see in a lot of YouTube comments, if some guy has been triggering his kit or triggering his kick and he's really, really fast, people will say, oh, well, yeah, he's, he's triggering his kick. Mm -hmm. if, if you took away the triggers, he wouldn't be able to play that fast because mm -hmm. they help you to play faster. But that's not the case. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, triggers, or th think of it this way, a vocalist can sing a lot better if he can hear himself. Drummers can, drummers can play a lot better if they can hear themselves. Now, usually that's not a problem, but with metal, um, you have so many loud uh, sound sources all competing with one another. Cymbals, drums, guitars, basses, um, and eventually, if you get the kicks going fast enough, it just gets lost in the mix, and it just becomes this big rumble. Mm -hmm. And uh, triggers basically just... Um, uh, sends a signal to uh, to you know whatever monitor you have that really it, it it's really uh, will give you a, I don't know I'm I'm totally talking in circles here but basically ba basically um, rather than having your kicks sound like this and if that was played really really fast eventually it starts getting a little bit gray as to mm -hmm. where the actual hits are. Yeah. Um, we have this triggered and mic, so it's, I think it's blended right now, but you get a really, really um, definitive attack, so you know exactly where your, uh, your hits are. So triggers, in, in a sense, they're, they're just a way of, um, of the drummer monitoring his kicks when he's going really, really fast, and there's no other way for him to hear himself. Yeah. And, then, um, and it allows the, the uh, kick drum to kick or bite through the mix, Exactly, right? yeah. Be heard and, and have that definition, mm -hmm. right? Rather than just like the low drone that's constant. Because with, with metal, you don't want just a rumble. You, you want that really, really punchy, defined, uh, like kind of clicky sound. And that's just, that's just part of the genre. That's just kind of a, a staple of it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, triggers don't try, make you faster. Uh, let's try listening to it. Can we um, take the actual trigger out so we can hear the difference maybe? I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to play, uh, play a beat uh, with some fairly fast kicks. And um, uh, we're going to pull the triggers out. Sure. Okay. And, uh, and you're going you're gonna to see that the beat doesn't get any slower, okay. basically. So here we go. Did they get that? Yeah. Yeah, cool. cool. Great. Okay, so ho hopefully you guys understood and you heard exactly when the, the trigger was taken out. And like Sean said, it doesn't get any slower. It just takes away some of the definition, especially when you're moving so fast. Right? Cool. Um, I think we should get into some blast beats and some metal beats there. Uh, some blast beats. Blast. Okay. Um. Oh, you have metal fills there. There you go. Do I have fills? Here. Oh, I got doubles. Sweet. That's Dave's fault. Uh, Dave. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> um, so I'm not really going through uh, the norm for blast beats. I'm actually kind of going through my own uh, weird, uh, weird creations here. Yeah. But um, uh, So I'll start by introducing you to some of the basic blast beats, which we don't have written down, but they're really easy to find. They're, they're really Talk easy. Talk to that camera, Sean. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> they're, they're really easy to, uh, to uh, play. So here, here's your, your first blast beat. It's uh, just a traditional blast beat. I think it's referred to as the European blast, but I've never really memorized all the names for them. They're just blast beats to me. Uh, so here it is. <laughs> That's not number one, right? No, no. Okay, so that's no. just... Uh, we're, we're just going through the basics The basics, first. okay, sure. Yeah. Um, so that's obviously not how fast you would play it. Um, you'd play it somewhere around this speed. There's a fly around me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here it is. And you can play that with two feet 
or one foot. It's a lot harder with one foot. And uh, but uh, some of the some of the really fast guys do with one foot, so it's a reason to practice because it's mm -hmm. possible to do. Yeah. So we'll we'll just keep it at that. That's for the uh, the basic traditional blast beat. And uh, so here is a here's a kind of a, a blast beat cheat, I guess you, you could say. It's um it's combining uh, different sticking with both hands rather than just a single stroke, which, like I said, a lot of metal drumming is just single strokes. So it's a blast beat. And uh, so this is basically to relieve tension between um, between your, your right hand and your left hand, so that one, n no uh, no certain hand does a lot of single single bashing all the way through. So it's basically like this. You're going to have two rights and a left on the hat, like this. And then we're going to switch it up, and two lefts on the snare and a right on the hat. And we're going to combine that with uh, with the double pedal. You can do it with a single pedal, but double pedal makes it easier for, for the speeds that it's, it would be expected to be played at. So here it is pretty slowly. So it allows you to get more uh, more sound out of the snare, and it kind of keeps uh, eighth notes on the on the hi hat. So um, here it is, uh, played a little bit faster. And uh, you you want to be sure not to make it flam. Um, flamming might be more acceptable in uh, in uh, music where you want a little bit more groove, a little bit more funk. But with metal, you want it to be very on the beat, never never behind or ahead, just on the beat. So um, we'll play it a little bit faster still. Cool. cool. So yeah. there's a, there's one way. Again, I guess it's sort of bringing uh, rudiments into it, into it again because you have a double stroke happening, but you're also mm -hmm. adding in. One more yeah, it's if you played it as a rudiment, it would be a flam tap. I flam believe. tap. Yeah. yeah. But that way you're, you're talking lose the flam, just play the... Lose the flam, exactly, the flam. yeah. yeah. Um, now we have a, another uh, rudiment that you can uh, translate into a blast beat. I think this is the, the uh, Swiss Army tri triplet, or the, or the Swiss triplet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Looks like that. And uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with that, um, we're not going to flam it, uh, as you would in, in the actual rudiment, but... You're going to do the left on the hi-hat and two rights on the snare and one more left on the snare. So it's going to sound like this. So if you do that constantly, consistently, you're going to have, again, a constant single stroke sound on the snare, but also sounds like someone else is keeping time on the hi-hats. But you can do this all with the correct sticking. So slowly, without kicks, first of all, it's like this. With kicks a little bit faster, it sounds like this. And play it up to speed. Now, the two, uh, two blast beats that I just showed you with the, uh, the flam tap mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the, uh, the Swiss triplet, these two blasts I actually use quite a lot when I play with first train, and a lot of people will kind of ask me, like, what are you doing here? Because it's not really a typical blast. But, but that's what it is. It helps you to conserve energy so that if you have a really big tom fill to do afterwards, you're not tired. You're not tired from, from doing two minutes of straight single strokes. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah, very good. Now, uh, now we can combine them to kind of create different, uh, different rhythms over top of them. Um, I think we have uh, basically, it's a combination of the, uh, the Swiss triplet blast with um, with the uh, the flam tap at the end, so it sounds like this, just just on the on with the hands, no no feet. So, if I didn't hit the bell, it'd be correct. So it kind of gives you this this groovy feel, almost like the. So. With the uh, with the the kicks and a little bit faster, it sounds like this. Oh, 
Very cool. Very cool. Uh, I think that's the old sheet, the one that I have here. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> but it's sure. okay. Sure, that's fun. I'm like, did I teach it wrong? That's Jared's fault. No. <laughs> yeah. It's not my fault. It's your fault. Dave, oh, you're you the one too. Who's they're all wrong? Are they all wrong? <laughs> I wish Jared no. had to write sheet music out and we'd ha we wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> you're an idiot. So we have two more examples of, uh, of combinations of the, uh, the Swiss triplet blast <laughs> and the flam tap blast. And... Um, Basically, you can add, you can combine them to uh, to create blasts with accents in odd time the odd time signatures. So um, this one has the flam tap first. Okay, and then the Swiss triplet after just once. So all together, you get a. Uh, a pattern in 7-8, and it sounds like this just with the hands. Now you said you're playing the, the Swiss triplet, but you're not playing it in the triplet feel. You're all playing eighth notes, is that right? Not, not in this. You're not playing it in the triplet so feel. So you're just no. playing straight eighth notes for the full 7-8 measure? Exactly. Okay. Yep. Uh, so here we go with, uh, with the kicks a little bit faster. So that's that one. Cool. cool. Okay, yeah, one nice. more. We're running out of time, so we've got to do this last one quickly. All righty. Okay. Uh, last one is, um, again, it's, it's, uh, it's two, two chunks of the Swiss triplet, but, um, again, in eighth note form, and Wait then uh, two of the flam tap. So it sounds like this. And that's basically 10-8. Yeah, I was I gonna think. say that's that's not in four four. It's ten eight. Yeah. 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 Cool. Cool. Okay. So there you go. Great. So for those of you just getting here, the, all the sheet music is available on the freedomlessons.com forums. This is Sean Lang. Sean plays with the band First Rain, yeah. uh, myspace.com slash First Rain. Also, if you look them up on iTunes, you can buy their CDs. Definitely check them out. It's like under ten bucks, and you get two full albums, or not full albums, but there's like ten songs. Like they're as good as full albums. Come yeah, on. pretty good <laughs> as full albums. Exactly. <laughs> um, Great, we're running out of time here, so we got to figure out what we want to do. I'd just love to uh, get some questions c from the members here, and then maybe we can uh, do another play along. Sure. Okay. So let me pull up my computer. Dave, do you have anything you want to say? Yeah, let's give away some of his CDs. Okay. Why don't you do that while I pull this up? Yeah. Um, first of all, in the very beginning of uh, the lesson, Sean mentioned how old he was. Now he's probably got a ton of friends watching this lesson right now. But um, how old is Sean Lang? First person to answer correctly gets a, a free CD from First Rain. Oh. Whoa. 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. Kevin, you can't win again. I already yeah, told Kevin you. Yeah, Kevin and yeah, there's a couple. People Ash, the drummer, no, ten. No, Brian on drums. He's won before, too. <laughs> Ash, the drummer, 10? Oh, hold on, no, no. C, Dur C. Durst. C. Durst, 92. You win. C. Durst, 92. Email me, dave at railroadmedia.com. I'll uh, send you one of those. Um, let's, uh, do you have any kind of metal questions we'll do for the next one? Yeah, I don't know if anyone will, will know this or not, but um, there's a, a pretty well-known metal drummer named Gene Hoagland. He uh, mm -hmm. played for, for Death back in the day. He played for Strapping Young Lad. Uh, if any of, you, any of you are familiar with uh, Death Clock, uh, Metalocalypse, the TV show about the death metal band. Um, he's the drummer behind all that. Um, does anyone know what kind of footwear he uses when he plays double kick? Ooh. I know this. Yeah? Yeah. First person and I'm not answer. even like a huge uh, metal guy. One guy says ankle weights, Vans, barefoot, socks, Puma, Adidas, Wade, DW, Airwalk, socks. Hmm. I never win. <laughs> <laughs> Red Falcon. <laughs> I don't know what Red Falcon is. Nike, Vans, Skechers, Converse, Barefoot. Cable. Come on, guys. Socks, sandals, ballet shoes, Etnies, ballet New shoes. Balance, sandals, S boots, boots, um, big foot, combat boots. There it is. You, you can't win, though, Kevin. <laughs> the same Kevin, guy you, always wins. Kevin plays drums, still tries. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't see you in auto trying today. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. He wins everything. Okay, the right answer was already said. Somebody's just got to say what he said. Oh, how much people are saying that? <laughs> okay, drum, drum boyan. 
T U R M B O Y E N. Email Dave. Yeah, Dave at RailroadMedia.com. I'll send you one of those. Okay, cool. Thanks for giving those out, man. Yeah, no worries. Um, now I want you to, or let's, let's quickly, if someone has, I'll take two questions, okay? Post your questions um, regarding now. the lesson. What are triggers? Sorry, man, we already went through that. <laughs> you got to watch that. <laughs> Uh, stick. Uh, okay, two people have asked about how you like to hold the sticks. How I like to hold the sticks? Yeah. Um, matched grip, first of all. Mm -hmm. um, and I can never remember what it's called. I, I don't like it. That's too, German. Looks so more I, like I don't a like French German. grip. It's kind of, yeah, it's, it's yeah, French, it's right? French Thumbs grip, up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's basically, um, yeah. Oh, actually, I've got a broken stick here. Huh. Good. Need more sticks? Yeah, I need one more. Okay. But. Uh, we can get you. We'll get you. Uh, yeah, yeah, basically Coast. French grip, I guess. French grip. So yeah. thumbs up, okay? Go on our, <laughs> go on our website, fusionlessons.com, and there's lots of stuff on grips. Um, <coughs> Thanks. Okay, one guy says, or just just a Rams fan says, you say to start slow, but how slow exactly? Like, are you saying like 40 beats per minute? Are you saying like 60 beats per minute? Ah. How slow is slow? It depends on on what you're practicing, really. I mean, uh, a a good uh, a good place to start is maybe find your max that you can play without it falling apart, honestly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, go maybe a little bit below that, so that just below your max you can get it really, really tight and strong, and then you can just start bumping up maybe like five BPM every time. Mm -hmm. I like it's what you said there, honestly. Be honest with yourself, because there's a lot of drummers that just think, oh, I can do it a little bit faster. And it's yeah. it's it's yeah. true. Yeah, everyone always wants to go fast. Yeah. yeah. And you're only yeah. practicing to yourself, so be honest. Yeah. Cool. I wish we had time for more questions. We're going to have to have you back. Yes. You promise to come back? I promise. Promise? I promise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Sean, let's do a play along, hey? Um, and then maybe if we have some time, I'm going to go out and check, and then we can, maybe you can do a solo for these guys. Um, yeah. What's the next song called? Uh, it's Free Will Sacrifice by Amon Amarth. So this is just a metal band. Just a metal band. An awesome metal band. A metal awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here so we don't blast. Them.
awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you push the sounds back together at the end. Okay, how much time do we have left? Two minutes? Well, we should. Yeah. Okay, guys, thanks so much for coming out. Sean? Yeah. Dude, thanks so much. Yeah, it was you awesome. You promise to come back? Okay, yeah. Promise to come back, and, and uh, man, you definitely got something different going on. Like, I, I've heard all those. I've heard, lo I've heard lots of metal. It's not like my main genre, as you know. But, <laughs> I mean, just look at me. Um, but, uh, yeah, some of that, those, that rudiment stuff you're doing there was awesome. Yeah. I've never heard it explained that way before. Because I, I love Swiss triplets. I love uh, flam taps and that sort of thing. So, Thanks. definitely. <laughs> <picking my>. Okay, <laughs> so Sean's going to play us out. Um, he's going to do a little bit of a solo. Is that cool? I can do that, I think. You can do it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Otherwise, thanks so much. I'm Jared. I'm Dave. This is Dave. And we will see you guys next week. Next week, we are doing uh, just a kind of question and answer thing. We're going to hang out. We're going to get our computers, maybe throw a couch in here and have it's a drum nice. set. Yeah. And we're just going to chill, drink some beer. Uh, Dave's going to mix himself a martini, a little apple teeny Ooh. like you like. Yeah, right. <laughs> I love my apple teenies. <laughs> okay. It's going to be a good time, though. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next week, uh, March 30th. And Sean? And us, uh, play us out. Play us out, man. All right.